Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and I'm playing Firewatch. Me along with the rest of YouTube, I realize, but it looks too awesome not to take a stab at. So let's go. New game. New game. Campo Santo presents. In cooperation with Panic Inc. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So... Let's see our, you know, major. You slur the word major, and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask. She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Charmed, charmed right out of her. <laughs> Good line, bro. All right. I'm in an elevator. Left click to use objects is a backpack. All right. I'm gonna assume that's my truck, right? Truck bed, load gear. What's my truck look like? Truck door, get in. Nice, you just threw it right in the back. That is that is good design. Don't make me go back, just let it happen. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Beagle or Shepherd? Beagle. I love beagles. Pick up the deagle. The beagle. She names him Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm seeing if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Two Forks Region Overview. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Heart. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. Okay. I hope I'm an experienced hiker then. Let's go. I really like this narrative device of cutting back and forth between the, the dialogue and the, the, the woods. I, I'm sure that'll come together. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. 
The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask for her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. I have nice feet. Very round. Oh, wow. All right. Sun. The sun's going... Wow, that's beautiful. These colors are incredible. This yellow and red and orange. That's amazing. All right. I'm just following the trail, I guess. It's really all I can do. I love these leaves. What's that? Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight more miles still. Oh, jeez. Okay. I guess that's where I'm going. Uh, this game is called Firewatch. Space bar. Hop over obstruction. Yes. There we go. Oh, wow. Nice view. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. Brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. But but fu- Dog! Dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare... You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day going forward. You say, okay, you didn't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Agree. Agree. I guess. It's a tough decision. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had, a happily, she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early-onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, boy. Um, got my lantern. Got my, there's my backpack, my sleeping bag, my journal. <laughs> so pretty. That was me as a Victoria's Secret model, I'm thinking. I wish I could have read what it said. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. On other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to, to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. It's 
keep moving down the path. This is a absolutely beautiful forest. There's birch trees and this little guy. I don't know, they look like lily pads almost. The lily pad leaves. And uh, is that a river down there or something? Oh, hello, deer. Oh, dear. Just go leaping away. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then and every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. You visit, she visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe, is because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I think... Here we are, at the job. Enter the lookout tower. It's blinking. Okay. What's around here? There's... Well, I'll enter the lookout tower first. I can... I can look around later. There's some beautiful plants, though. Beautiful. This whole game is really beautiful. Honestly, that's one of the things that made me want to play it in the first place. It's... Spacebar, hop over. Can I? Okay. I don't know why I would want to stand in the middle of this, but... Thanks for letting me. Cistern. Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna play around out here later. I'm sure I'll have time. Uh, let me go up into the lookout tower. It's night, too. I don't want to be wandering around in the woods at night too much. Probably not a good idea. There was a sign about bears, if you remember. So, you know. All right. The view, though. Wow, those mountains are incredible. All right, let's go in. Turn on the power. I'm going to guess that's this. Okay. Hello. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh. Hello. Hel Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mom, nobody home can stand you. How about, uh, you killed three ex-husbands? Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Mm, not quite. Now you. Okay, good night, bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> oh, man. That was some intro. Wow. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Answer radio call. Oh. 
Oh, that was so... He was fiddling with his ring. That was really sweet. Okay, what's going on here? Volunteer as a lookout. I'm sure that's what I'm doing. Um, radio... Is my writing? I wonder if it'll get... I'm sure it'll give me a chance to read this, right? I can't even do these. It's These things are all out of reach. I have to answer the radio, which is kind of cute. Okay. Oh, now I can look. Okay. Um, let's look at this photo with Julia. Let's, oh, I didn't... No, I didn't want to throw it. I'm going to put it back. There we go. Put back. Desk lamp... Let's read this. April 28th, 1989. Tomorrow is the big day. I was going to drive up today, but there's a guy coming by from the university to grab another box of books, and he was a real pain in the ass about doing it before I left. Means I got to catch the Nuggets game tonight. Not that Phoenix isn't going to take this series in three straight. There's always next year. Not sure I'll get another chance to write until I'm settled in. I'm probably sure the drive up to Lander is going to white me. May 1st. Hiked in last night. Got lost a lot on the way here, then met my boss, Delilah. Real piece of work. Hopefully we don't have to talk much. Maybe I'm just grumpy from lack of sleep. I didn't get a wink last night, and I'm pretty sure there was a bear sniffing around my tent. I actually made a good fire last night and flipped through Julia's journal. I still feel weird about having it, but Susan thinks it's a good way to... What's the word she used? Stay connected to the real jewels. But I was sitting there looking at it, and I don't know if it's a good idea for me to keep doing that. It didn't feel good. And yeah, like I said, I didn't sleep great after that, but it was probably the bear. Anyway. Alright, it's late afternoon, I gotta check in with the boss. I imagine I wanna have a hell of a lot to do. Let's check in with the boss. Ooh, pine cones. <laughs> there were pine cones over here, too, that let me pick up. Or, I guess that's what this was. This is the desk, right? Okay. Uh, nice. Hung my jacket on the power thing. Alright, replies. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Wow. Oh, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Oh my god. 6.45. No, it's Oops. not. Oh, the clock is broken. Don't worry about it. That hike broken puts clock. everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West and he's- Are those fucking fireworks? West. That's west. Yeah. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There oh. should be one in the supply box on the way. On the, the way? The code okay. is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> Secure. Shut up. Okay. Uh, that was to the west. Let's check out the map. Find a rope in cash box 306. Uh, two forks. Look at. I did. <clears throat> I I saw somewhere to to improve your Firewatch experience. There is a um a you are here indicator on this map, but if you turn it off. It really, like, basically, the suggestion was turn it off. It's a game about walking around in the woods and orienting yourself also is a lot of it. So, um, turning off. So, like, Two Forks Lookout, I know I'm here, and following this map is going to be part of it. So, uh, Cache 306 is on the way, and I don't know where they're going to be, but they're to the west. So, 
Let's follow this. Hopefully I see the cash box. Oh man, I hear the fireworks going too. <laughs> I love that it threw me in the middle of gorgeous wilderness. Like, woods, beautiful, beautiful woods. And then, no, so hurry up, hurry up, go do something. You can't look at them. Hopefully I'll have a calm moment later to look at them, but I'm walking west, right? It went sort of, the, the path goes sort of northwest. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Um, hey, space bar. Climb over. Oh, can I not do that with the map? I guess not. There we go. Okay. My map and my compass. Uh, so the cash box should be... Should be right around this corner. I think. There it is. Hello, cash box. Oh. Oh, that's a good sign. Two forks. 800 feet that way. Okay. That's where we're going. And Jonesy... I'm going to imagine that those people were at Jonesy Lake. That feels about right. Okay. Um, I guess I have to lower the map to do stuff. I found the supply box. Great. Oh, and the code is one, two, three, four. Nice. Uh. Oh, what is this? Map. Copy information. Oh, that's so cool. Map updated. What did I what did it update it with? Oh, nice. I guess these are paths. These are trails. And nice. Oh, that was that's really really cool. All right. Um, there was a note. July 7th. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so it's locked up in his lookout. I put some stuff in the box. Oh, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking in the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Alright, Dave. Okay. Note. Keep. Hold E to keep. Yeah, why not? Pick up cone. Here's a old rope. Now, deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. What else? Granola bar. That's probably good to have. Right? Fine. <laughs> Cherry almond granola bar. Okay. Eat. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. I don't want I want to I want it. Can I put it in my bag? Come on. Granola bar. Oh, this is notes. Okay. Radio. Hey, it's a snack. snack in here. Probably going to eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Hmm, true. <laughs> All right. Uh, what year is it? Anyway, this is 1986. I don't know what year it is currently. If she says I don't want it, I probably don't want it. Uh, okay. Can I say something about... About this? No? You got nothing to say? All right, deal with the fireworks. Now, it was to the west. This is west. I don't see them anymore, though. Oh, nice. The zoom also holds up the compass. Very clever. Oh. R to toggle jogging. Nice. That was a perfect moment to say that. Where are the fireworks? Here's another trail. Oh, that seems... It sounds like I'm getting closer. I'll at least be able to see him out here. Right? No, but... Clawed up tree. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury yeah, their they bodies, are. and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? 
No, Henry, that's life. Christ All right, lady. I need, I need to attach the rope to this hook and scale this thing. I guess repel. Let's repel. Oof. Also, the sun is going down. No, no, no! Oh. 